Don't count your chickens just yet. Yeah, man. One. Come on. Ooh, this one's gonna be tricky, I can tell. Two. Okay. Come on, we got this, we got this. Woo! Okay, I got the third safe. The third safe, man. We're gonna get mad money for this. That's another one, Ooh, one more, That's one so more. Good. How much longer? One more, that's hey it. Okay, yep. You reckon that's enough now? Yeah. Maybe. It's never enough. Well, I am ready to get the hell out of here whenever you are. Yeah, give me some time, big boy. Come on, I'm almost done. Come on. This is good. This is good. Bingo! Woo! The fact that we actually got all of them. Oh, one more. One Last more. One. Good. We gotta move. Yeah, I know, I know. Just give me some time. Just give me some time. Patience is the key after all, I guess, right? Come on. I mean, it would be stupid to use dynamite, honestly, because that would definitely get mad people to come over, but... Even though this is time-consuming, at least we get all of the safes done. Ooh, hell yeah! Let's go! We actually did it. Oh yeah, we're good. We got so much money. This should definitely be good for a while. I'm not gonna lie. I think... Uh, I think we're fine. Come on, I'll lead the way. Let's okay. Go. Everybody, stay calm. All right. All of you count to a hundred and keep your mouth shut. You understand me? Nice. We actually got away without any trouble, without any issues. We actually got away with this. Holy cow! Great. Great. I knew it. I knew it was going to get hairy. Let's go. Now we're one to dead or alive. That's crazy. But at least we got all the money, though. Shit, I'm not complaining. I am leaving. Let's go. Oh! Oh no! I ran off the wrong way. My bad. Alright, who, who's chasing us? Let me see. Come on. Oh, come on. Come on. Thank you. Woo! Ooh! I got a couple of stray bullets. Dang! I need some better weapons. There you go. I need this. Bye bye. Bye bye. Let's go. Woo! I'm getting rid of them one by one. One by one. Who? Great. Hold on. I need to restore my dead eye. Right here. There you go. There you go. Got that. Got that. Let's go. No, I got rid of all of them. Let's go. Oh, come on. Man, you know what? Let's let's do the bourbon. Got that. Got that. Let's go. There you go. 
No more. No more. They're like cockroaches, man. They're just like cockroaches. All right, we should be good to go. I don't see anyone else harassing us. Let me go ahead and eat some pineapples to increase my my health. Woo! That's why we escaped. I think we lost. Thank you, gentlemen. That Thank you. Stupid and dangerous. Thank you, Phil. We're alive and we're paid. Yeah. I don't see the problem. Yeah, and that is the problem. <laughs> Phil, <laughs> this you. is a very good take. That you'll be happy, even if it did come with a heap of trouble. Ah, it was fun. <laughs> well, maybe you're right. Now, go on, get out of here. I have some other business to attend to. Don't head directly back to camp and make sure you ain't followed. All right, let me see. Let me see how much money I got. Right to the ranch, really? Fine, I'll go right to the ranch, see what's up. Especially since she owes us a lot of money, you know? I get the appeal of being a... An adventurer, being able to just do whatever you want, no one telling you what to do, a whole bunch of freedom and stuff, but just constantly running away from trouble does get a little bit annoying. I'm not gonna lie. I am not gonna lie. And now... Yeah, Arthur has been doing this all his life but i wonder if he ever gets tired of it honestly would there be a day where it finally clicks and he realizes that he doesn't want to do this anymore i don't know let's see i just love the sounds that i'm hearing on my headphones the birds chipping the hooves on the ground. Look at this. Sweet. Oh, there she is. There she is. And I assume that's her son, too. My husband's not cold on the ground, and you've come back here, Archie. I nearly paid off what was owed. Your husband knew the rules when he took that money. Now, I'm real sorry about the way things turned out, but he had a choice. Ain't my fault about the way the world is. He didn't have a choice. He was good, and he did good. There wasn't no choice in that. And you have as good as killed him yourself, and don't kid yourself. You had a choice. You speak as if killing was something I cared about. You ever wonder about eternity? You should. I hope it's hot and terrible, Mrs. Downs. Otherwise, I'll feel I've been sold a false bill of goods. Now, please, give me that money. <sighs> Cough it up, woman. Either you got a lazy eye or lack of respect. Which is it, boy? I ain't got no lazy eye. No respect for the lacks of you. Well, maybe when your mother's finished mourning your father, I'll keep her in black on your behalf. You think on that, boy? Well, maybe you shall, sir. And maybe other events will transpire. You best stick to them books, because mark my words on this. Vengeance is an idiot's game. Ah, Mrs. Downs, thank you for your punctuality. Next to godliness, isn't it? That's cleanliness. I'll have to take your word on that. Good day. I mean, if you owe something, obviously you gotta pay off regardless. What did they expect? I mean, yeah, it sucks that her husband died, but, you know, a contract's a contract, so... I don't know. I don't think I would actually want this type of life. I'm just surprised Arthur is still willing to keep going, honestly. 
Because if I was in this type of world, I actually would want to settle down, have my own home, white picket fence, a wife, just relax, not have to deal with any type of trouble. But then again, I'm just a simple girl in this complicated world. 20,000? Woo! And my share is 2,500. Dang! I feel pretty rich right now, I ain't gonna lie. Lover of ladies here, like my video, share my video, leave your comments below because I just love talking to you guys. But most importantly, please subscribe to my channel. That way you'll be able to get daily gaming content from me. And hit that notification button as well so you know when I upload the videos. So I know within the first 10 minutes of this episode, it was basically two episodes back the remaining footage of that bank mission that i actually forgot to add to the last episode so i figured why not just simply show you what happened at the end of the bank robbery so i know it's a little bit random but i just i'm all about continuity here so and consistency why? i ain't got a market for it they made it they must have someone to sell it to Stuff look kind of lonely out here. I think we'll cut ourselves a deal. Uh, I get you. You and Dutch was just doing your duty when you requisitioned it. Now I'm doing mine. All right. I should get going now. Bye, John. I'll leave you fellas to it. Good luck. Thank you, John. Oh, wow. We'll see you later. Dutch asked him to look into something to do with the Braithwaite horses, I think. Sure, okay. Okay, let's head out to the Braithwaite's place. You know the way? Yeah, I've been there. Yep, and also because of the map on my lower left-hand corner of the screen. I think the good citizens taking the trouble to return their stolen goods deserve some reward, don't you? And it's time we made a formal introduction, like Dutch told us. Look. These are two big old plantation houses. All I keep hearing is they hate each other so much they can't see past it. I know. I've seen it. There's a gray boy and a Braithwaite girl carrying on a secret affair. Like Romeo and Juliet. It's romantic. The mind boggles. You think they're of use? Not sure. They don't seem too involved in the rest of it, but maybe. Well... I'm sure there's money in this for us somewhere if we can get in the middle of it. Let's see. Let's see. Hello, gentlemen. How are you? What's that in the back there? Moonshine, my fine fellow. May I have a word with the man of the house? The man of the house is a lady. Mrs. Catherine Braithwaite. May I speak with her? I want to discuss a business opportunity. I mean no harm. No harm at all. You may happily shoot me if I do. <laughs> uh, okay. don't say that too loud. She's at the house. All right, let's go. We'll be watching you. you heard and watch that. away. Driver, proceed, please. Look at that. The lady of the house. Now that is some good progress right there. I love it. Can I just drive straight through? Yeah, I could. Nice. What you want? Found oh. Something. Out in the hills, thought. Thought maybe you was in the market for it. For what? Some liquor. I ain't in the market for what's already mine. The way we see it, it's ours. Well, with us possessing it, and I, I checked all over for the life of me, I couldn't see your name on it. Oh. Relax, I ain't here to rob you. Oh, it seems that's easy enough. Why don't I do a deal? What do you sell that stuff for? Dollar a bottle. You give us 50 cents. It's already ours. Well, look on it as a reward for finding the property. Alternative is we go sell it someplace else. The alternative <laughs> is you get shot. Now, who wants to get shot over a bottle or two of liquor? <laughs> Pay the man. Man, he is he is a savage for talking Let that crazy to her. You. And listen, uh, we didn't take it, at least not without orders. From... Oh, I know exactly who gave you your orders. 
Oh. oh. Sheriff Gray. You know what? I don't want it. In fact, sir, now you can do me a favor. There's Which an extra is? ten bucks if you do. Drive the stuff into Rhodes, head over to the tavern run by Mr. Gray, and give the stuff out for free. Mama! Hush now. I believe they call that a promotional expense. <laughs> As you wish, madam. You boys come back sometime and tell me how you made out. Maybe we'll play a little cribbage. All right. What? The road saloon. So not only did she pay, she's giving us extra ten bucks to give that for free. Yo, this this lady's savage even more. Got close to a thousand for him. I wanted more, but not bad considering how hot they were, especially after that bloodbath in Valentine. I don't even want to talk about that. That was a mess. Apparently. Cornwall's been pumping a lot of cash into the Pinkertons. Oh, he's Just desperate, desperate. Going after gangs. Gangs like us. Yeah. That don't surprise me. Yep. He is really on our tail if he's hiring left that. and right. You and Dutch already have that thing going on in town with the sheriff. Yeah, Mr. Gray. That's it. Now we're inserting ourselves in his blood feud. Getting cold feet? Second thoughts? I ain't playing dress up. You know how I feel about that. Of course you're not. You're... You're a clown's idiot brother. Hosea, please. I'm the clown. You're the idiot. Just look sad and keep quiet. Even Bye. Bye. I'm mad he said look sad and quiet. And you changed okay. my nice hat? What? Bring your lip forward. Just a oh. bit. Squint. Oh, perfect. Uh, what about you? Oh, shh, shh. You can't speak. Your turn, idiot. Wow, that's crazy. That's wild. Right? Broke poor mammy's heart. Uh, there, there. What a fool. Don't get mad, huh? What a fool. Foolish. I love this. All right, are we here? This is it. Okay, Benton, stay calm now. For Mama, she loved you so. <laughs> Just a shame you had to strangle her in a rage, right? Grab two cases of that stuff and follow me. <laughs> I'm the quiet idiot, I guess. Yo, Arthur is sighing so much. He reminds me of a coworker that sighs every few minutes. You'll be walking back and forth behind her. She'll be like, <sighs> she'll be walking back and forth, and she'll be like, <sighs> she'll be sitting on her desk, and she'll be like, <sighs> let me stop. What? What? We're in the new trade of advertising, which is an American art form about ensuring people buy the correct things. I don't know. One more dollar says give us half an hour. What harm can we do in half an hour? Go A lot. Now. Enjoy the money. Come on, Fenton. Just hand out the liquor. How much money did you give each of them? Three, four bucks? Man, this is some crazy shit. I we're giving away free liquor. Gentlemen. Gentlemen. My name is Melvin. That's my brother Fenton. He's a bit funny. But boy, can he pour drinks fast. For the next 30 minutes, the drinks in this year bar in this year town are entirely free. Yeah. Yeah. The only rule is that you gotta drink them. So her put old Fenton to work. Yeah. Don't get him mad, though. His mama made him mad, and we buried her. <laughs> oh, <laughs> thing. Ah. Now come up to the bar, everybody. Come on, Paul, let's chill up today. I'll have more Fenton drinks. Yeah. What? Bounty. All right. Am I pouring it correctly? Okay. 
Just keep them coming. All right, you don't have to tell me twice. Let's go. Come on. Come on. There you go. There you go. One for you. One for you. Everyone is going to get a bottle. Let's go. Let's go. Okay. I got you. I got you. Come on. All the way. All the way. All the way to the rim. You're drunk, but thanks for the compliment. Got it. I got you. I got you. Don't worry. Everyone's getting a shot. Let's go. Oh, there's there's some. Oh no, they're too lit. Oh man, this is gonna be crazy stuff here. Okay, I got you. I got you. I got you. Man, this is crazy. Uh, wow. That's crazy. He went out for milk. It looks like he's not coming back. So I guess that joke is legit. Wow. How many bottles did we go through already? I'm just curious. Four or five, maybe? What? Bastards who stole the liquor we was gonna buy. Jump. We're in advertising. Uh, come on in and have a drink. That's our goddamn liquor. An honest mistake. Boys, get him. Oh, oh, sh oh no. Let's go. What? I can't shoot. Anyways. Ooh. Man, how am I supposed to do this? I was just here pouring out the liquor, and now I'm getting shot. Let me smoke some cigars. Okay, you're really annoying me for shooting me like that. Let's go. Let's go, come on. Thank you. Ooh, I'm about to die. L let me let me eat some beans. Increase my health a little bit. What else? What else? I need something to improve my dead eye. Right here. Some cigars. Anyways. Bye. Now he's innocent. Hosea, shoot. I got you, I got you. Hold on, hold on. Hold on. Oh, man. What? Okay. I'm trying, but this guy's in my way. What? Who is this? Right in the face. Let's go. There you go. You good. Okay, okay. What? Oh no. Oh no. Come on. I can't even shoot correctly. There you go. What? What? Hosea! Can I jump? Okay. Right. All right. Let me see if I'm if I'm able to do something else. I have no. I have nothing else, huh? Got more coming after us. Yeah, clearly this sucks. That's what I'm trying to do. Thank you. Oh, my heart. I'm dying. Hold on. Let me eat these assorted biscuits. Why I didn't eat the biscuits fast enough. Dang. Hold on. Let me eat the biscuits now. Full health, right? And then... 
I need to buy some stuff for Deadeye. Chewing tobacco. Now, do I- is that the only weapon I have? Because that's pretty annoying. I'm not gonna lie. Come on, come here. Got more coming after us. Oh, got you, right here. What? How are you still alive? There you go. Oh, man. I am trying. This is not good. Come here. Thank you. Thank you. Come on. And I'm trying to make sure I'm not dying, but it's pretty hard. Cool. Man, this is crazy. Let me eat some bread. I'm trying. Can you give me some time here? Thank you. What the hell? How are they not dying? I can't even shoot straight either. Come on. Come on. Thank you. Thank you. What? There's more? Come on, man. There you go. Got it. Got it. Oh, and I got shot again. This is going to be a very difficult mission. Damn. I'm getting this out of here. I'm just trying to figure out why I have corny weapons, honestly. Huh, oh, man. All right, let me strategize here. Biscuits. And uh right here, chewing tobacco. I'm gonna take my sweet time too. Ooh, let me sit down for a second. Alright, perfect. Boom, right in the face. Okay. Got you. Boom. Got you. Come on. Thank you. Alright, so far so good. I'm gonna chew the living daylight out of this tobacco. No, I'm not. Right here. Boom. Come on! How did I miss? Okay, good. There you go. There you go. Boom. Explosion. Let's go. Another one. There you go. Ooh, no, no, we're not gonna do that. Bye. Shut up. Boom. Damn, I missed. There you go. All right, more tobacco, just in case. Nope. Thank goodness, because I was not trying to do this mission a third time. I reckon it's more they don't want another gang on their patch. The music is so... It's so on point on how I feel right now. We gotta get rid of this liquor. Either by drinking it or pouring it on the lake. Never to take up a career. In, what was it? Advertise. Yeah. Right. You think that woman set us up? No, I don't think so. Oh, well, I think she did. Maybe. This place is odd. Well, I keep seeing those fellas. Some local militia. Clearly not too happy to have some new competition. I'll go visit old Mob Braithwaite. See what's what. Why? We've been making money. The chest is filling up again, slowly but surely. Okay. Part of me thinks we just get ourselves good and lost. You know we're not we going to get ourselves good and lost. Before that can happen. Everyone so keeps saying now, that. Let me go give old Mrs. Braithwaite some of this moonshine as well. Let's call it a peace offering. Sure. That was fun, Fenton. We'll make an actor of you yet. 
I'll go speak to Dutch. So, what do you think? About what? Fine folks around these parts. No, They're not no fine, but whatever. Exactly. On the one side, we have got the Gray family. Scots, degenerates, drunkards, the local law. You couldn't make this stuff up. Rich as creases. And on the other, their mortal enemies, the Braithwaites. Moonshiners, hypocritical, both rolling, we believe. In gold. And in the middle of it all, you got some inbred retailing of Romeo and Juliet. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> so what you boys thinking? We try to rob them both. What, Micah? Oh my gosh, bro. Are you serious? So? Why not? Suicide? Uh, we got lawmen in three different states after us. Last thing I want is to get us into trouble, but we Wow, you could have fooled me. Opportunity what? Here to put ourselves in the middle of Oh my gosh. Arthur, us please here. realize these two knuckleheads. Fools are going to kill each other anyway. Okay, well, Jose has gone back to see that Braithway woman. Good. Hosea should definitely take the lead on that. This is suicide. I on over to Braithwaite Manor too. Now you can meet up with them. Or join John and Javier at the Gray's place. Something to do with the Braithwaite's prize horses. Well, how the hell did we get an in at the Gray's place? Sheriff Gray kindly put in a word with his father. It ain't that complicated. <laughs> we gotta convince each family that we're on their side. And then we rob them both. That's the crazy. Us, and not the other lot will be long gone. Think mm. of it as payback for my daddy. Payback. I ain't in the revenge business, Dutch. At least That's all, right. something happened a long time ago. That's right, Arthur. Put in your boundaries right now. You gotta pay for something. Mm. Now, if you will excuse me, Arthur, I got to write a letter. All right, right away. This plan sucks. But still, whatever, I guess, right? Man, robbing both families? And then... We somehow managed to get away at the end. That's not how it's gonna turn out. Man, Dutch, you are so full of it. And the fact that you're letting Micah fill up your head with all that BS, you both are just as delusional. Thank you for watching. This is Lover of Ladies, and I'll see you guys next week.